fuck is going on up in New York at fucking Fashion Week? Is y'all up that motherfucker drinking the tap water too? Is y'all drinking the tap? What the fuck? You got Murray J. Blige beating the shit out of Faith ever? Because I'm sorry, I got Murray beating the shit out of Faith. Murray looked like she will forever and always have hands. I'm sorry. And motherfucking Cardi taking off her shoe, throwing that shit at fucking Nicki Minaj. And I'm not even mad at Cardi because, bitch, you say something about my kids, I'm going to whoop your ass. I don't give a fuck how famous I am. I don't give a fuck how much money I got. That money's going to take me to bail my ass out of jail because they're going to have to pull me up off your ass, bitch. You say something about my motherfucking kids. Straight like that. And that bitch motherfucking um, Nikki ain't got no kids. You don't know what it feel like to carry a child for nine months and to breathe air into a human being. And if someone to disrespect your fucking child, bitch, you must want to die. I'm sorry. I... I Everybody, welcome to the impressive channel. Okay, some ratchet foolery happened at the New York Fashion Week. Cardi B almost got into a fight with Nicki Minaj. Yes, both Cardi B and Nicki Minaj were at a Harper's Bazaar event and something went down. Apparently, some words were exchanged. Cardi B approached Nicki and her crew and she said something. She was like, let me tell you something. She took off her blood shoe and she threw it. Now, according to Cosmopolitan, sources from inside the party said Nikki was taking a photo with Kelly Rowland and Lala Anthony when Cardi walked past. Reportedly, Nikki deliberately stepped on Cardi's train and then Cardi threw her shoe at Nikki. Yes, you can see a shoe being removed in the video above as well as what appears to be a thwack noise as it makes contact with its intended target or some poor security guard. Now, a lot of people are saying that Cardi got into a physical fight with Nikki. However, that's not the case. Nikki sat back, she wasn't fighting, but her friend Ra Ali was the one fighting Cardi B, okay? She stepped in and fought on Nikki's behalf. For those of you who don't know, Ra Ali is a part of Nikki's Barbie crew. She hangs out with Nikki and she also is her bodyguard. <laughs> when they both got into an altercation, Cardi B actually was hit in the forehead by a security guard and she was escorted outside the venue. So it was embarrassing for her to be such a big star and be treated that way. You know, Cardi B, sis, you're a mother. It's time for you to do better. You got to do better. There's no reason why you would be fighting at a high fashion event. This is not love and hip hop. This is a different setting. So you why something in me is I just feel like Murray J. Blige walked up to Faith like bitch you still out here doing crackhead stunts you and Stevie out here still pulling crackhead stunts and just motherfucking Faith just slit her ass I don't know I just I that's what I feel in my heart like I feel like motherfucking <laughs> I feel like Murray seen Faith and Stevie was like y'all still out here doing crackhead stunts and that shit just went left where in the hell is the footage for that I want to see the footage for this Mary and motherfucking uh, Faith Evans fight. Have y'all ever seen two ex crackheads fight? Nigga? Y'all must not be from the fucking hood, nigga. That's a good ass bitch. I want to see the footage for that. Fuck this goddamn Cardi shit. But on some real ass shit. Nikki, I love you to death, sis. I'm trying my best not to let all of this shit that they've been saying that you've been doing, all this bullshit that you've been doing on Queen Radio, like, girl. Because for real, you. You 
my friend are making me really lose respect for you because at the end of the day, if you say anything about that girl's uh, child, I don't fuck with you like that no more because I'm a fucking mother and I'm a single mother. For you to disrespect another woman like that, fuck what you feel personally about her or even professionally about her. In regards to her being a mother and saying anything about a baby, I lose all respect for you for that, Nikki. And if she took her shoe off and tried to take her head off, she had every right to. I know that she's a mother now and she really shouldn't be acting like that. But, bitch, if that was... Let me tell you something. I don't know no motherfucking mother. None. Somebody playing with their motherfucking child that they just going to sit there and just be like, you know what? It's okay. I'm just going to walk. Some can, some have that maturity that, that can just, I don't know that many. I'm being dead ass. I know grown, 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 grown ass women. Like in they late 40s and 50s that will still wreck your ass. You say something about they motherfucker. They is not playing with you. Ain't no bitch playing with you about her fucking kids. I came on this camera with my fucking wife beat and my scarf on. My holy ass fucking wife. Because like, I'm like, hold the fuck up. I know good and goddamn well. And then Ra Ali, why you up? Bitch, you just want to be seen, honestly. Honestly. Because if Nikki jumped her mouth out there like that and said something about that woman's child, let Nikki get that smoke. Let Nikki carry that same energy when Cardi come over there for that ass. Like, why the fuck? You always jumping in the middle of some shit, yeah? Mind your motherfucking business. If Nikki, Nikki got all that mouth, Nikki need to back that mouth up. Straight like that. Ain't nobody gonna keep playing with you, Slim. Ain't nobody gonna keep playing with you. There's a point where you got to draw the line. Saying shit about somebody's fucking child. Because you could clearly hear Cardi say in that video, that bitch said something about my kid. Ali, you keep jumping out there trying to act like you fucking he man. Fight number. You think it ain't somebody time enough out there that could whoop your ass too? Bitch, you live in New York. I don't agree with Cardi B on that gang banging shit. But bitch, you gotta live in New York. Where Cardi is from. And all her little gang banging friends is from. Like, what is you doing? Mind your business. Mind your motherfucking business, Slim, before you got some niggas come and try to sue-whoop all on top of your motherfucking ass. I don't agree with that gang shit, but that shit is real. That shit is very real. In D.C., we don't do that gang shit around here. You do something stupid or something like that, they just gonna kill you straight up. And ain't we don't, we don't need no fucking gangs and shit like that. Niggas, look, we ride dolo from state to state. We don't do that gang banging shit around here. Motherfucker, you do some dumb ass shit, they just gonna get with you straight like that. Motherfuckers around here don't need no gang. But y'all do that gang banging shit up. Y'all be on that gang banging ass shit up New York like real hard. On some real ass shit. Out Chicago, out New York, and out California. And like, and like Arkansas and shit. Like y'all be real hard on that gang banging shit. That gang banging life is really nothing to take lightly or to play with. Like honestly, if I knew it was somebody that was really like seriously affiliated with a gang. Like for real, for real. I ain't fucking with them like that. Like for real. I I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna be 100 honest. Like I'm not fucking with nobody. Like nah, nigga, you got it. You got it. <laughs> like fuck no. Like I'm not fucking with no goddamn. Like you got me fucked up, yeah. I ain't being no punk bitch. That's common fucking sense. That's somebody using your brain. That's common fucking sense. Fuck that shit, nigga. Hell no. I'm not gonna be walking. Looking around my back every motherfucking night, every day, hoping motherfuckers ain't doing drive-bys and all that shit, man. Fuck no. And there's like hella bitches in these gangs too. Like these bitches do not play. Raw Ali, like you are not the only big bitch in fucking New York that can fight, my love. My cousin's from my cousin from Brooklyn, bruh. Like I promise you. I promise you, my nigga, like, you better motherfucker mind your business and stay the fuck out of shit that ain't got nothing to do with you, sis. Tell you what Nikki gonna do. She gonna take her little motherfucking ass back to fucking California, wherever the fuck she's at, and your ass gotta stay in New York and deal with that shit. 
Nikki gonna come and fight with you when the motherfuckers come in. Um, Trump fuck you up. Shit, you already seen who who was that motherfucker on? Sky pulled up at your shit. When that sky came to your house or some shit like that, these motherfuckers not playing with y'all on the internet and shit. Y'all look. Y'all need to stop all this shit. Y'all need to stop all this, this celebrity beefing, motherfuckers pulling up on motherfuckers, talking about people, kids, doing all this shit. Man, have we not learned anything from Tupac and Biggie? Have we not learned anything from our history, from the past? Like, what is wrong with y'all? How y'all getting this place, this plateau? Y'all making all of this money and y'all are just throwing it away and just fucking up your reputation and everything you worked hard for. So determined to act like hood rats, even after all that money and shit that y'all gained, all the success, all the fame, y'all just want to squander it and throw it all away because y'all want to act like fucking hood rats. It's ridiculous. But I want to know what the fuck Faith and goddamn Murray was fighting over. Hmm? What the fuck was y'all fighting over? I need footage, I need evidence, I need to see what I need. Y'all need to find the meat and the potatoes because I need to know what the fuck that was about. Y'all get on that shit so we can reconvene later on because I want to, I'm coming back with some footage. As soon as I see the footage, bitch, I'm back at you.